Just when you start thinking you've seen everything out there, some genius comes along and surprises you with a new invention most people would never think of. Solving problems and creating new objects and ideas is just what us humans do best. But let's be honest, some people are much better at it than others. In this video, I'll show you a few of the times people went above and beyond taking creativity to new and unheard of heights. Now it might look like this pool table is rolling all over the place, but it's actually moving to stay flat. This clip comes from the cruise ship called the Radiance of the Seas, which has a gyroscopic self-leveling pool table that compensates for the movement of the ocean's waves, keeping itself and the balls on the table perfectly stabilized so you can play pool, even in rough seas. We've all seen the green screen fails that happen when meteorologists wear the wrong color to work. Well, weatherman Ian Leonard did it on purpose, creating an unbeatably spooky headless Halloween costume. Good thing the anchor didn't ask him to deliver the headlines. When Dutch design firm Pete Heineck was approached by a customer to build a log shack large enough to sit and ride inside, they took inspiration from cordwood construction which is a natural building method in which short logs are piled crosswise to build a wall. What they built brings a whole new meaning to the word log cabins. By covering the exterior of their cabin in logs, including the windows, you could walk right past this building thinking it's a bunch of firewood and not even realize what it actually is. The average person does their best to avoid walking around in the snow for hours and hours. Me especially. Not artist Simon Beck, he creates mind-blowing works of art using a complicated self-taught technique that he describes as reverse map making. Step by painstaking step, Simon uses a compass and his knowledge of mathematics to stomp these sculptures into the frozen landscape. He's done this for a decade, creating about 300 of these, which is really mind-blowing. I think I'll just stick to making snowmen, thanks. This woman's hand-sewn kimono might look like the traditional plaid of Scottish kilts, but it's actually sewn out of worn boxer shorts and old shirts. Maya Clawfield, the creator of this tartan kimono, specifically chose to blend the two styles to honor her mixed Japanese and Scottish heritage. Looks great, but I hope she washed the shorts first. This image looks like it's photoshopped, but it's not. It's like French architecture meets Dolly style surrealism and created something similar to how some failed panorama shots look warped. In fact, it was a failed panorama shot on vacation that led the photographer, Jean-Philippe Dumais from Quebec, to work out how he could control the accidental effect. Through much trial and error, he eventually produced this shot, creating an image of the iconic Parisian landmark melting away in the hot sun. These two friends were frustrated by the lack of diversity in their local McDonald's advertising, so they did something to change it. The duo secretly hung up a poster of themselves on a blank wall in McDonald's, where it hung for 51 days without being noticed. In order to sneak the poster into the restaurant, they dressed up as McDonald's employees using uniforms they found at a thrift store. In a nice ending to the story, McDonald's decided to keep the poster up there once they finally realized what was going on. Standard roommate etiquette says that if you eat your roommate's food, you replace it. But instead, this guy carved realistic wooden replicas to replace the bananas he ate. He didn't neglect a single detail, right down to the fake bruising. He even covered them in real Chiquita stickers as a final touch. According to his online post, Operation Banana Scam has worked perfectly and you can even watch his entire video about the project on YouTube. When you think of your grandparents, what do you picture? I'm guessing your answer probably wasn't roller coasters. Well, it is for these lucky kids. After their grandfather retired from his career in aerospace engineering, he decided to build them a private roller coaster in his backyard. Somebody get this guy a Grandfather of the Century award. Sure, anyone can build a treehouse in their backyard using logs and nails, but the Swedish design company Tham and Vitigard took it a step further, layering mirrored surfaces along the exterior to create a practically invisible hideaway that looks like it's floating in the trees. Believe it or not, you can actually spend a night here, as it's a hotel. This homemade wooden light up watch puts your Apple Watch to shame. An engineering student laser cut words onto the wooden face, projecting light from inside to indicate the time. As the hours pass, different numbers light up, and the student made it specially as a birthday present for one of his friends. Huh, why did none of my friends give me gifts this good? 
If you're afraid of getting your fingers blown off when you light firecrackers, this guy has an alternative method just for you. He uses Rube Goldberg levels of ingenuity to light those firecrackers from far away, just using a playing card. Simple. Well, I guess there is a simpler way. You've got to have your bottled water, but you're also worried about climate change. So what's an environmentalist to do? After all, pollution is so passe. How about transforming your bottles from waste into a system that encourages carbon-fighting plants to grow? That's what these people did when they turned their old plastic bottles into a greenhouse. This injured turtle can walk again after someone made him a Lego wheelchair. Most mobility devices for animals are targeted towards bigger pets like cats or dogs, so the animal lovers at Maryland Zoo decided to improvise. Instead of letting these four orphan puppies go hungry, one man transformed his hand into a makeshift mother by squirting milk through a glove. He inserts a syringe filled with milk directly into each finger to make sure each puppy gets its nutrients. Adorable, but also kinda gross. We've all had the urge to draw in someone's dirty rear window. Come on, they're asking for it. Well, one artist takes it a little more seriously than just writing wash me in the dirt. Scott Wade, also known as the dirty car artist, creates intricate murals and scenic landscapes on the backs of dirty cars. Creating something that looks like it belongs in a video game, Jan Vorman uses Legos to patch up holes in brick walls. The visual contrast of the old faded brick buildings with brightly colored plastic Legos is something to see. Okay, it's probably not the best idea if you want to protect your wall's structural integrity, but it sure looks cool. Now this is useful. Reddit user Dutch Kiwi Fruit DIY'd a machine that automatically sorts Skittles and M&Ms into separate bowls by color. The device uses optical recognition and a small onboard computer to make these crucial decisions. So the big question is, when are they gonna put this in stores? You've heard the common saying, one man's trash is another man's treasure. Well, the artists behind this series of sculptures, Tim Nobel and Sue Webster, play with this idea by creating art out of their trash. Discarded wood takes the shape of humans, which is then projected onto the wall with unbelievable results. Reddit users are an amazing bunch. Give them an idea and they'll pull out all the stops to outdo each other. In this Photoshop battle, Redditors photoshopped a picture of this chubby hedgehog in a tiny kayak onto different images. Here's the hedgehog on American Gladiator. One enterprising user even made a gif of the little guy rafting down a rushing river. Gotta love the internet. Instagram artist Red Hongyi rearranges common household objects into works of art. This piece, titled Tad Tariq Man, which translates to Pulled Tea Man, showcases a gigantic portrait that was created by stringing together 20,000 dip tea bags. The piece, which depicts a man making a traditional cup of Malaysian tea, was inspired by Red Hongyi's own feelings of homesickness. If you happen to be alive during the 1980s and early 90s, the odds are good that you had the much maligned rat tail haircut at some point. As if it wasn't bad enough the first time around, one man wants to bring the look back. Here he is taking the rat tail to new heights with a very literal interpretation of the hairstyle. You've got to admire the execution and creativity, if nothing else. Everyone's heard of Stonehenge, one of the wonders of the world. Nebraska native Jim Rinders built a replica version in his backyard, but with cars instead of rocks. Since it was first created in 1987, Carhenge has become a major tourist destination in Jim's hometown. If you find yourself driving through Nebraska, all right, maybe that's unlikely. But anyway, make sure to stop by and check it out. Russian street artist Nikita Nomers transforms crumbling abandoned buildings into whimsical, exciting works of art. He incorporates physical parts of the structure into gigantic faces. Crumbling bricks become teeth, cracks become mouths, and holes become staring eyes. It's definitely better than leaving derelict buildings to fall apart. This Muslim woman comes up with creative ways to dress up as her favorite fictional characters while wearing a scarf. Saraswati, known on Instagram as Queen of Luna, is a Muslim woman who wears the hijab, or headscarf, and she's found creative ways to wear her religious dress while also expressing her nerdy side. This popular Instagrammer has over 423,000 followers too. Goes to show you that fandom knows no religious boundaries. Ever made a bad decision while you were drunk or tired? At least you probably didn't have to stare at it every day like this guy did with this terrible Pikachu tattoo. This monstrosity looks less like a professional tat and more like a child's drawing of some kind of beaver-like animal. 
His new tattoo artist agreed and she cleverly decided to incorporate the original image into a new design depicting Pikachu as a budding artist. Pretty smart. Speaking of the power of tattoos, after a childhood accident left Norwegian man Heinbreck with an amputated arm, he decided to transform it into something new. Breck reached out to a Bulgarian tattoo artist who transformed his stump to look like a lifelike 3D dolphin, creating something beautiful out of a tragedy. Anyone who's had a monthly period knows there's a lot of misconceptions and stigmas regarding menstruation. Enter Casey Jenkins. This performance artist is shattering taboos about the female body and its functions by bringing them out into the open, literally. For one exhibit, she inserted wool into her private parts before unspooling it and starting to knit in front of an audience. Jenkins performed this piece over the course of 28 days in an Australian gallery, even continuing while she was on her period. After her performance garnered negative backlash online, Jenkins became inspired by the violent, misogynistic responses. Using her period blood as a dye, she knitted those negative comments onto scarves. It's definitely creative and thought-provoking too, but I'm not sure I'd want to wear one of those scarves. So what do you think? Have you done anything this creative? Let me know by leaving a comment down below. And thanks for watching.